Hey YouTube and welcome back. This is Chris over at Gibbs Gaming. Uh, last time we were on our Let's Play for Final Fantasy XIV. We had just completed our level 20 main storyline quest. And we had completed our level 20 gladiator quest. So, or no, we completed our level 15 gladiator quest. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the main storyline or finish up the level 20 main storyline quest. Actually, I think it's level... 15. I keep saying 20 because I'm 20, but I believe the quest is actually for level 15. Yeah, level 14. And then we got to do the level 15 or level 20 gladiator quest line. So we're going to do the cutscene for this. I'm going to skip it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and skip it because I don't really care to see it. So I'm going to take my food buff, even though we don't need it. And we're going to go ahead and start doing this. If you remember in the last video, we had to put on a earrings that we had to go get from the goldsmiths. Uh, we had to put on earrings for that just so we can get this quest to go through. Skip the cutscene. Then we're going to skip the next cutscene. Skippy, skippy. There we go. And here's the, the room that you get, by the way, uh, early on in the game. Uh, the summoning bell here, once you get uh, the permission to have your, uh, essentially, vendors, uh, I forget what they call them, um, retainers. Uh, once you get your retainers, you can, you know, while you're doing your uh, job of the hands stuff, like your gathering, mining, botany. Um, and fishing, you can have them sell that stuff or the stuff that you craft. Toy chests, I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have any mini games. Um, I don't have the, uh, the, the glamour stuff. Uh, you can store stuff in your armoire just since I'm in here, but I haven't stored anything. And the glamour, uh, also don't have access to it. Because I think that's a little newer than what I remember. <clears throat> and then you have the unending journey, which is like your little thing that tells you what your story so far is. <clears throat> Goodness. I got a frog in my throat. So. Just got done with the other guys that are working with me on this YouTube channel. We just got done talking about you know what we're wanting to get done with the channel and stuff like that and other upcoming games that we're wanting to cover for you guys um, primarily we're gonna start a let's play on Fallout 4 uh, leading up to Fallout 76 that was announced uh, in theory everyone is speculating that it is going to be coming out this October if not there is a Fallout mod that is coming out in October. So, if we don't get Fallout 76, I will be covering the new mod. So, we will see how that goes. And then he gives us the ability to use the airships, which comes in great handy for our hunting logs. All right. And since we're already over here, I'm going to go ahead and run and grab. Oh, wait, nope. That tells me to go to sensor. Okay. So actually, I'm not. I forgot. I already grabbed the little 20 quest. And it wants me to go back to Blackbrush Station for it. But I want to get this airship quest done for the three main cities in this video. Because it's a bunch of just like running. Because you have to go talk to the three main cities, watch their stupid little cutscenes for it, then come back to Mimodi, if I remember correctly, talk to her. Whole load of fun.
By the way, for Grand Companies, I will be uh, doing the Flames. Speak with Elianora at the airship landing. Hi, guys. Airship landing. And this is why it is so important to have those Aetherite shards. Otherwise, you have to go to the Chamber of Rule, and you have to run all the way over to the guy, then talk to him, and you just skip the whole process. Board the airship. Then there will be another cutscene. But see, this first quest to go to the other main cities, you don't really get a choice of where you're going. It depends on what main city you start in, and then it sends you to the other ones. I think since I started here, it's going to send me to Gridania. And then from Gridania, I go to uh, the other place. Oh, wait. No, I was wrong. I got sent to Uldan. No, I got sent wherever the stupid place is. I can never remember the name of it. Oop, wrong place. Do, 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 do. Ooh, ah, I hate when I do that. Yes, I want to leave. Even though that fence isn't tall enough to stop me from jumping over it. I want to go to the Bulwark Hall, please. So that I can then go and talk to the captain. Or the admiral. Admiral, that's what they call her. Admiral. Yay. Okay. So aggressive. Thank you. Then we run back over here to the lift attendant. Go back up to the airship landing. And this will take us over to Nugurdanya. Now, because I know the next set of quests take me here, I probably should have ran to the main thing and got the stupid crystal, but I got to come back here anyway. But I will get the one that's in Gridania. Because I don't think I need to go to... I don't think I'm going to Gridania first. Either way, once you complete this part and you go back and you talk to Mamodi, I believe it is. Or whoever it is I'm supposed to talk to once I complete this part. Uh, you actually get the option... Oh, that's nice. That's kind of cool, bro. All yellow gear, homie. Noise. Yes. Oh, I want to leave the landing area. It took me forever to realize that you could do this right here. <laughs> I used to run outside and then all the way around when I was playing this on the PlayStation. I was just making a bunch of different characters. I was like, really? There was such an easy short path? Alright, and because we have to run like basically all the way through this place, I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of the different Aetherite shards that are here. In uh, New Gridania, 
you have access to the Lancers, the Conjurers. Yeah. Lancer, Conjurer, and uh, Archers. You also have the Woodcrafting and the Botanist here. So. Hurrah. I don't know why I'm running to the archers. Alright. Grab this. Na, 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 na. Only downside of these quests are is is the running. You know, it's just the constant having to run back and forth it gets pretty tedious sometimes. I wonder if I have access to retainers yet. Nope, nope. I think I gotta finish the quest I'm on in order to get the ability to start using retainers. Not that I'm needing retainers for anything right now, but once you access them, you get access to two starting off, and I think you get a max of like five. Um, and basically, uh, I forgot the leather worker was in this town too. Um, but basically what it is, is you want to, um, you want to level up your retainer with the profession you want them to sell with so that they can also get you materials for said selling. So like, let's say I want a miner, right? Well, they can only be the same level of mining, I believe that I am. So, in order for me to have, say, a level 60 miner, or a level 70 miner, or whatever max is now, I have to get my mining up that high. I think that's how it works. I'd have to double check to make sure. Like I said, I have a feeling what I'm going to do is have a video that goes over the basics of each profession. Just so that everybody can kind of see the professions. Yes, I know I'm not picking up all of the shards, but that's because I have to come back to New Gridania anyway, later. Yay for something to drink. Alright. Hand over, hand over. I wish I could get horns like that. That'd be so legit. So you are... Just such an interesting way of talking. Hole 21. Ooh. Gotta pick up the quest. Alright. So now I gotta go back to... Limsa, Limsa Lamensa. That's the name of it. But in order to do that, you just take the airship, since I was a dum-dum and forgot to go get the Aetherite Shard. Alright. And if memory serves, this first quest that we get for uh, or from Batteron gives us access to the very first dungeon that we can get in the game. Like official dungeon. Ooh, you're not who I wanted to talk to.
But now it costs guild, if I remember correctly, to go places. Yeah, 120 gil. Which I still think is cheaper than teleporting back and forth, because it'll cost you like four or five hundred, depending on where you want to go. So, there's always that. Doo -doo. I need to go to the drowning wrench. Winch. Winch. Not wrench. Learn to read, you special. Alright. So it wants us to talk to that guy, but what I want to do first. And I think I actually need to go downstairs for that. But I'm going to grab that one. Because I need to go get the big crystal over there. And yeah, I got to go downstairs. So we'll grab this one and then we'll go to the lift attendant. Uh, let's see. The classes that are available here. That guy's an arcanist. Or not arcanist. Um, astrologian. Blah. Wrong profession. Uh, the job classes, or, or not jobs, but just regular classes that are available here are the um i know you've got marauder loop the marauder the conjurer the uh rogue are in this town so there you go So it says, need a capable adventures. Stupid cutscene. Kill the cutscene. Trying to go as fast as I can, bro. Speak with this uh, Vem Vempla, whatever her name is. Uh, Vempla at the Fairy Docks Lower District. So we got to go downstairs. Well, we're call. Yes. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. So now that we're down here, we're able to stop and grab our big crystal here. And then we're going to go to the docks. But before that, I'm actually going to run down here and grab the Aetherite Shard at the Conjurer's Guild. What quest do you have? Right price. Nope. This gives me access to the shops. And I need to go that way anyway. Yeah, I need to go down that way, if I remember correctly. Bloop. Yeah, so you go down, and he's over there. But, I need to get the Conjurer's Guild. It's always a good idea, uh, especially for new players, to go ahead and get all the guilds once you have the ability to do so. Uh, for the simple fact that it allows you to play around a little bit more and find out what you're more comfortable with. Because let's say you start out as a, an archer because you're like, ooh, I really want to be a bard. But then you start playing the class and you're like, mm, I really don't like this. Well, once you pick up all the other classes, you can just immediately switch over to this class and that class and start playing around with them, do their main storyline quests for them, and figure out which class you're more comfortable with. And it's just, it's easier, honestly. This is the Fisher's Guild here. 
over there, that red door you see in the distance, that is the rogue's den. So if you want to be a rogue there over there, you got to talk to that doorman right there. And he'll ask if you want to go inside and talk to the something sisters or whatever. We need to go to Aleport. We're going to the Hall of the Novice. Yay us. Do 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 And see the next set of quest lines that we get for the main storyline is uh basically we're gonna get access to the first three major dungeons. Then there'll be a couple more quests and then we have to do our first primal. If I remember correctly. And so far I'm enjoying the tank class. Again I've never tanked before. In any of the other games that I've played. That said though. We haven't done a real dungeon. So. I mean. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, I'm used to playing the, the DPS or the healer. So. Alright, so we're going to get this quest from the Season Adventure. He's going to ask me to talk to the smith. Uh, speak with the yellow jacket outside of Satasha, which is right up here actually. And keep in mind, if you guys do decide that you want to test out other classes, for example, you know, I'm a gladiator. Let's say I picked up the, the pugilist while I was over in Ulda. Then I could switch and I have an entirely different hunting log for that person. And see this quest right here now gives me Satasha as an available dungeon. So there's that right there. We're not going to do that yet. Uh, because that's going to be for a whole other video. Um, but we are going to teleport here. We got 451 gold. I don't think so. We're going to teleport and use one of those free tickets. So let's go start this quest. So we can get that done. Get her better weapon. Then we will go try out Satasha. Come here, you injured gladiator. Find and speak with any witnesses. And search for a point of ambush evidence. Ooh. Alright, well, I've got someone at the door. So if you guys can give me just half a second. I will be right back.
Oh, people, sometimes. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Um, in that case, before I run out of time, let's try and quickly get this done. And then we will end this video here. And in the next video, we will complete this quest. And then we will go and do our dungeon. So, yay. Well, I don't think I'll be able to do the dungeon and complete this quest all in one. But, we will definitely... I think the, the dungeon is going to be a video all by itself. And then we will have... Um, the here we go we will have this quest finish up so there's that now it wants us to go back show the scorpion ring to wymund and ulda so let's tell about teleport back to ulda real quick see if we can do that really fast Go. All right, he's just outside here, and then we're going to end the video. Um, so as I run to this guy real quick to turn in the quest, uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or have something you want to see that's a little bit different, just let me know, and I can do my best to get that up. Like I said, I am looking forward to some new games that are coming out uh, this year, possibly early next year. We'll see what happens at E3. So that we can kind of see what we're going to put on the channel. With everything else that's going on, guys, I'm I'm going to definitely make sure that I get at least one video up a week. I try to get a little bit more than that right now. Uh, but there's a lot going on at work and it's just kind of a little hectic right now. So um, I guarantee I can get one video out a week. But I will try and get a few more than that. Especially since I'm wanting to try and do a couple other games like the fallout 4 i want to try and have me and one of the other channel guys working on it with me uh so you may hear different people talking sometimes and that way we can get something going for the coming of fallout 76 and if not 76 this year then definitely the uh new mod that is being available for i believe it's new vegas because it's called New California. If you haven't seen the vids for those guys, just look them up on YouTube. There's quite a bit of coverage for them right now. Uh, other than that, if there's any other games that you guys kind of want to see on the channel, just let us know. We are looking at doing things like uh, PvP for ESO, and we're looking at, uh, you know, like a Diablo 3 hardcore run and just stuff like that. So if there's other games you guys want to see or other content that you think would be cool, just let us know and we can, you know, try our best to get that done. Uh, other than that, again, please like, share, and subscribe. That way more people can see the channel and we can grow as a community. I can't do it without your guys' help. So as much help as, as you can, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I know the other guys that are with me would appreciate it as well. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I hope you have a great weekend coming up. And I, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Stay safe. Have fun. Bye.